How you doing guys? I'm Lion XP, and you're joining me here for something completely different today. We're going to do a Loot Crate unboxing. Now this is my first unboxing, so the setup is a little haphazard, but just bear with me. Um, it, I am trying to go for a theme here though, so if you do recognise a YouTuber, you recognise an excellent YouTuber. But um, yeah, my first one, and it's on top of the standard ones that I'm going to be doing, so it's an, in addition to the two a week. Uh, this is definitely not a paid for promotion, um, I've been a subscriber for about 18 months to Loot Crate, paying each time, and I've also got it for friends as well, it's always a good gift for birthdays, Christmas, that kind of thing. Today is quite a big crate, so we'll, uh, hopefully it's got some good stuff in it. And Oh, sorry, before I do start, this month's uh, theme is Investigate. So, first of all we have... A shelf with lots of different things on it to do with investigating. You can't see it properly. Hang on. There we go. So we'll start with the ever famous t shirts. Now, these are usually really good. I do have quite a lot of them. So. Ooh. Now, that, let's see, is a very good Stranger Things t shirt. And as usual, let's see, yeah, there we go. That's something you don't often get with crates, but it's official merchandise. It's not just you can tell what it's supposed to be, which can be a bit annoying sometimes. So we'll uh, pop that to one side. And let's see, next item we have. Okay, the X-Files pencil set. Let's crack these open. Yeah, I'm not one for keeping things in boxes as well, so please don't be too squeamish about that. I will open them and have a look. Okay, I know it's upside down. Give me a second. Just... Oh! Cut shot. Hang on. Ta-da! There we go. And these... Quite cool. Yeah, I like those. Something to take to work, that kind of thing. An official, again, mid for Loot Crate exclusive. Oops, I'm holding it the wrong way. Sorry, I will get used to this. I'll pop that to one side. And next we have, let's see, let's go for the Q fig. These are always good. Oh, a Jessica Jones. Nice, let's have a look. Here. Okay. Focus. There we go. I like the detail on it. It's a really good detailed figure. You can see where the pipe was in the wall there as well. And let's see the detail on the face. Good paint job. It's, uh, it's in between in the lines, which is always handy. And it is just a good quality figure, which you always get with these Q figs. Um, let's see, sorry, I was holding it off shot again. Yeah, and they are always on the same base as well, with this red band around it, which is instantly recognisable, but goes well with the rest of the collection. In fact, I shall do a quick comparison for you. Now, these are my current collection of Q figs, and as you can tell, all have the same circular base, roughly the same size. Let's see, I don't think they are exactly... Oh, maybe they are, actually. Yeah, they are exactly the same size. So it would be quite easy to make some kind of display that they sit quite snugly into. But, yeah, that's the collection of balls. Let's get on with the unboxing. No, you're on your own, Jessica Jones, so you can go back over here until you join your friends back in my collection. Now, let's see what we have. Let's get these out of the way. Gone. No, it's not gone. Hang on. Hang on. T-shirt, go. Gone. It's magic. So, let's see. Well, I think this might be... Oh. oh okay. A... Pencil sharpener. Okay. Because I got pencils, so why wouldn't I need a generic pencil sharpener? Thanks, loot crates. Let's 
see. Ooh, color changing mug. Uh, come on, let me in. Uh, nighttime scene of Gotham. So we'll pretend that you can't see the light reflection on what's going to change colour. We'll be totally surprised when it does. Okay, so we will set up and jump cut to when I'm going to test this out. Okay, here we go. I'm back with some boiling water. Let's hope I don't get any first degree burns. Now let's wait for the magic. Oh yes, it's happening. Here we go. I don't want to burn anything. Oh wow. It's becoming day kind of daytime. Oh not daytime, Joker gas. Oh, there we go. I'm going to burn my fingers, ah, oh that is cool, I like it, and then we have the ever present logo, there we go, now that is cool, <clears throat> I like that cup, and it's nice bright colours, usually with these kind of changing ones you get a murky colour, but you've got a really nice uh, yellow going on and the greens are quite a good green uh, difference between a uh, difference sorry difference 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 between the background colors and the writing as well it's not all just faded into one kind of monotone green win now i've just got to get rid of this cup without uh, burning myself so I uh, think that was almost everything the investigator. Let's say loot crate on the video, uh, tape recorder and the old loot crate logo, funnily enough, on the badge. Because they have changed the logo now. To be that, compared to the old one, which I have. Come on. There we go. And that's the old Loot Crate logo. So let's see. Back over here, box. We have. Let's check out the uh, booklet. Ooh. Oh, here we go. This is something I always look forward to is well for past two this is the third one is the keys which will give you bonus loot which is always good um i will solve these and i will post the answers at the end quickly um also probably put it in the comments below as well but i would always advise to try it yourself because uh, they're a lot of fun to do and we always include uh you have to use the items that you get with the loot crate to solve it so it gives it a bit of depth and something to do with the things that you get. So let's see. Okay, there's a mug that we got. There we go, that's uh, going to be used for coffee. I do need my caffeine. Uh, AKA Jessica Jones, alias Investigations. You can't really. Uh, there we, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And there's the awesome T-shirt. Uh, pencils. Doesn't say anything about the uh, pencil sharpener. Oh, and that is what the loot crate turns into an evi evidence, evidence, evidence uh, case. Here we go. And there's the keys. Uh, digital comics. Nice. Some free X Files comics. You always get some kind of digital download and some other ones as well. Just have a look, yeah, there's no codes on there, so you can't steal them off me. 
and Luter Community. Which is the t-shirt I'm wearing at the moment, actually, funnily enough. And Mega Crate. A custom tabletop gaming table. Some Max oversigned paperbacks. Uh, the Max ones are really good. I've got the Deadpool versions of those, there's quite a few. Uh, then we've got ooh, the Complete X Files, Blu ray, and Lego, which is always good. Let's get rid of that. So, one last bit. I think this is just a promotional badge. Oh, that's my primal additional um, loot that I got for completing last one, which is uh, an iron on patch by the look of it. It feels like a the iron on kind of material it's not yeah it's not peelable so that will just go on and iron on that's pretty cool and that was it so um, again I'll just link these at the end the answers which uh, will show up on screen now because I'm that good uh, but I'll edit them up probably put some here some here some in the middle here and then one there and probably another one here and then here I don't even know how many answers there are yet, because I haven't looked at it, so it's all under guesswork, really. But thanks for joining me on my first ever unboxing. I will probably do some more, just because I it's always interesting to open a box and have a look. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys in my next video.